Hey YouTube, it's me, Ryan Holly, once again, PB70CDOEM. What we are going to be doing in this video is turning on my IBM Aptiva system, model 2168M53. In my last video, we did a clean install of Microsoft Windows 95, as we will shortly see here in a bit. Okay, this is our second reboot, so this will come up. What we are going to be doing first is installing the um, Trident VGA drivers, an updated version, with the IBM Aptiva Technical Update CD with a part number of 02K24. Three, six. This is the purple labeled update CD. I will be linking that in my archive or the description box of my YouTube video of the CD, which can be downloaded from my archive.org account. Sorry, I know that was kind of wrong to mention. It's been a bit of a pretty busy day today. It's still December 9th that I'm. Okay, this autoplay will come up. Yeah, yeah, 16 colors. Go ahead and click on do not, I do not agree because, um, well, it's not going to make any difference. It'll just exit the program since we are not going to be using the um, entire program itself. We're going to go in the control panel, click on display, settings, change display type, change the adapter type. We're going to click on have disk, click on browse. I'm just going to read the floppy drive. And then just make our way to um, the CD-ROM drive, which is drive D in this case. I'm going to double click on updates, scroll all the way down, we're going to double click on Trident, click OK, click on OK again, click on OK again, and then we'll click close, and then you can select whichever you'd like. We'll do the high color 16-bit just for the sake of the video, apply. Close them out of the control panel too. Do you want to restart your computer now? Yes, we do. And in my case, I've also got a flat screen monitor. Okay. Now we've got 256 plus colors because we did the high 16 bit. To make it a bit nicer, let's go with a background. I could do forest with the trees because I am um, hardly ever use that one. Let's go with clouds anyways in my case. Okay, now for the M-Wave install. This is going to be my little tutorial for anyone who wants to install the Windows 95 drivers for M-Wave. These are the um, IBM Aptiva sound and modem drivers. So follow my steps exactly, because this is a bit of a complicated setup. There is a lot to do. Well, not a whole lot, but there is quite a few things than usual. So we're going to double click on add new hardware, which we just did, and then we're going to click on next. Do you want Windows? No, because it's not going to find it and it's just going to be a waste of time, so we'll click on no. Next. Other devices. Next. And then we're going to click on have disk. Browse. And no, it's not on the floppy drive. 
I'm going to go to the D drive for the technical update CD, IBM Aptiva technical update CD. And then we're going to make our way to our MWave folder. So we'll double click on updates and MWave DR for driver and click OK. OK again. And then on the top one, which is the default item, we'll close out of the control panel too. It says IBM Dolphin MWave DSP adapter. DSP stands for Digital Signal Processor. That's the driver that needs to be installed. Installing just the software itself isn't really going to do anything, so this is how we're going to do it. And then we're going to click Next. And then click Next again, and at this point, this is when the installer will automatically come up. And I highly recommend going with the default install, which is MWW for MWave Windows in this case. So we'll go ahead and do that. Click OK. It's going to copy files over. I have an iced teacup with some ice cubes in it. <laughs> an iced tea that has a little bit of caffeine, but not as much as coffee does. I will point out that caffeine is a addictive, and I will say that it got me. It really did. Anything else in iced tea, like the tea leaves, for example, that's addictive, that might be in it that is addictive I should say it did get me but honestly I'm fine with that it's not even the subject of this video just bear with me I'll say some random stuff I also recommend moving this particular icon from the startup folder to here because if you don't then every startup this will come up which can get annoying at times it does for me and this might take about a couple minutes or so. Just gonna put one more item in. Optionally, you could leave this item in there. It's just that every Windows reboot, it will come up. If you don't want it to, then you can just take it out and move it, or delete it, it doesn't matter. No MIDI wave samples found. You need to install the MIDI wave samples for the MIDI synthesizer to work. And we'll do that later on, and I'll mention that later. Okay. Go ahead and click OK. And we'll click Finish. It says shut down your computer, turn it off, and install the card for your... It's assuming that the M-Wave adapter has not already been put in the computer, but we'll just click yes. And then the computer will power down completely, but because the card is already in it, we'll just go ahead and turn the system back on. Okay. Click us. I mean, hit escape on the keyboard. I don't know why I said click. It's what you do with the mouse. Left clicking and right clicking. Okay, and at this point it'll say new hardware found. Anyone who owns a 
Courageous C model Aptiva, a 2176 or a 2134 Aptiva model, I should say, after you run the Master Restore and Recovery program from the Dark Red Master CDs, after doing the Windows 95 setup and putting in the key code, you'll probably see this quite a bit. So it's the same thing as it is, just like in this example. So this might take about a minute, and then after it's done we will be hearing sound. Joystick port. I do have several on Microsoft Slidewinder joysticks. And yeah, we even got sound. And then we'll click OK. Now, um, we may have sound, but um, I want to point out we are not finished yet. As mentioned earlier, still need to install the MIDI wave sample files. And the reason for that play a bit of the Canyon file. Some of you may not notice, but that actually did not sound right. And that's because at the moment there are no um, wave samples for the MIDI wave samples installed. And we're going to do that right now. Browse, make our way to the MWAVE folder on the update CD. Updates, MWAVE DR, and then samples. And then here is the setup. Click OK. MWAVE samples MIDI med for medium. I personally recommend going with the defaults. In fact, I recommend it no matter what because I have tried a different install location and it fell over, didn't work, had to redo the entire M-Wave installation process. In fact, I actually had to reinstall Windows. So go with the defaults. It'll say, do you want your Windows MIDI synthesizer to use the set of MIDI samples? Yes. Do you want your DOS MIDI synthesizer? Yes, we do. Do you want your Windows? For some reason, it asks on the Windows twice. I don't know why. Installation complete. Okay. It says to please reboot. Now, alternatively, there is a patch file on the M-Wave. Um, I don't know for sure what it patches or updates driver update so just for the sake of the video and I may recommend it so we'll double click on the install there okay and now we will shut the system down you want to restart well not shut it down we'll restart the computer okay Starting Windows 95. Now we'll um, play the sample of this Canyon file again. You can tell it sounds much better. Okay. This is how you install your M-Wave and VGA drivers. Trident VGA drivers. And this concludes my tutorial. So I hope you guys have found this useful. And anyone who has not subscribed to me already that owns an IBM Aptiva system. Or even Packer Bells for that matter. I recommend subscribing subscribing to my channel so you don't miss any videos that I upload. Of course I'm not online all that much. 
not as much as Billy Core from the Nostalgia Mall. He is um, currently doing like once a month uploads because um, just personal related issues. I don't want to explain them. Or, um, well, never mind. Anyways, this actually concludes my video. So, this is Ryan Hawley, PB70CDOEM, signing off, and I will see you guys in the next one.